أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تدخلوا بيوت النبي الا ان يؤذن لكم الى طعام غير ناظرين اينه ولكن اذا دعيتم فادخلوا فاذا طعمتم فانتشروا لا مستانسين لحديث صدق الله العظيم او يو بليف Don't enter the houses of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam illa an yuzana lakum except when it is permitted to you or except when you are called for that ila taamin for some feast ghayra nazrina ila not waiting for the preparation of the meals walakin idha du'itum fadkhulu but when you are called you should enter فَإِذَا تَعِنْتُمْ فَانْتَشِرُوا And when you have taken the meals, now you go away. You leave. وَلَا مُسْتَانِسِينَ لِحَدِيثِ And don't linger there for some talks. إِنَّ ذَلِكُمْ كَانَ يُوزِ النَّبِيَّةِ This attitude of yours was was annoying the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. فَيَسْتَحِيِّ مِنْكُمْ But he was shy of you. He couldn't say. وَاللَّهُ لَا يَسْتَحِيِّ مِنَ الْحَقِّ And Allah is not shy. from saying whatever is true why is as all to move on matan and if you have to ask for something some goods from the wives of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam fasaluhunna min waraa'i hijab so ask them from behind a curtain this is very important aya and on this is based the concept of hijab min waraa'i hijab so curtain should be there a curtain if it is on the door of the house it is curtain a curtain before the face of a muslim woman is the veil it is also a curtain zalikum athar li qulubikum wa qulubihinna this is purer for your hearts and their hearts wa ma kana lakum an tuzu rasulullah wa la an tamkihu azwajahu min ba'dihi abada and this is not at all permissible for you and it doesn't behove of you that you should annoy the messenger of allah nor that you should marry his wife after him abadan ever in nazalikum kana in dallah azima this is with allah in the sight of allah subhanahu wa taala a very great sin in tumdu shay'an aw tufuhu if you conceal something or you reveal it fa inna allah kana bi kulli shay'in alima so it is equal for allah allah knows everything لا جناح عليهن في آبائهن. Now when the other believers were stopped from entering the houses of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, except when called. Now there is being given a list of the persons, of the relations who are exempted from this this stopping of entering into the houses of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. لا جناح عليهن في آبائهن. There is no blame on them if they are their fathers wala abnaihinna or their sons wala ikhwanihinna or their brothers wala abnaihwanihinna or the sons of their brothers wala abnai akhawatihinna or the sons of their daughters wala nisaihinna and not their own women not strange women their own women wala ma malakat amanuhunna and also not for those who whom their right hands possess but a group says that this includes the male slaves also but some say that only the female the the slave girls but taqin allah so this these are the people who are allowed to enter the houses of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this is the beginning of the list of mahram this list is completed in suratun suratun nur 
Surah Nur was revealed after this, one year later than Surah Ahzab. So the beginning is here, but the completion, complete, completion of this uh, commandment of Allah is in Surah Nur. In the Allah Ta'ala Ala Kulishan Shahida, verily Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is witness over everything. In the Allah wa Malaikatahu Yusalluna Ala Nabi, surely Allah and His angels send blessings on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya ayu alladhi naamanu sallu alayhi. O oh, you who believe, you also send your blessings on him. Wa sallimu taslima and salute him with a becoming salutation. Inna alladhina yuzun Allah wa rasoolahu. Surely who give pain or annoy Allah and his messenger. La'anahum allahu fi dunya wal akhirah. Allah has cursed them in the life of this world as well as in akhirah, in the hereafter. وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ عَذَابًا مُحِينًا And Allah has prepared for them a very humiliating testament. وَالَّذِينَ يُوزُونَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ بِغَيْرِ مَكْتَسَبُوا فَقَدِهْ تَمَلُوا مُحْتَانًا وَإِسْمًا عَزِيمًا مُمِينًا And those who give pain to Mormon believers, male believers and women believers, without their having earned that, they have not committed any sin, they have not committed any wrong thing, but people, you know, are saying slanders against them. Then such people, فَقَدِهْ تَمَلُوا بُحْتَانًا So they have taken upon them a slander, وَإِسْمَ مُبِينَ A very big sin. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّبِي O Prophet ﷺ, قُلْ لِأَزْوَاجِكَ Say to your wives, وَبَنَاتِكَ And your daughters, وَنِسَائِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Now you know this the commandments are being extended gradually from beyond the wives of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to other women also of the Muslims. Ya ayyuhan nabiyya qul li azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'il mu'mineen Say to your wives, to your daughters and to the women and to the wives of the believers yudnina alayhinna min jalabi bihinna They should draw their cloaks over their faces that is, that will be nearer, that they should be recognized, that they belong to respectable families, they are not the slave girls, so that they will not be teased. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Now actually in Arabia, before Islam came, there was no segregation of sexes. But the covering of body was okay there. They used to cover their bodies, males and females both. But they never, the women never covered their faces. But it was customary that they had every man and every woman. When he or she went out from the house, they took a long cloth and put them, you know, about them. So, but the women shouldn't, they used it. They, they are called Jalbab. One is Khumr. Khumr have been mentioned in Surah Al-Nur. These are the scars. We have dupattas in India, in Pakistan, etc. These are khumr. Because they are used in the house. So that is mentioned in Surah Al-Nur. Because the rules and etiquettes within the house, they are discussed in Surah Al-Nur. But when you are going out, a bigger, you know, wrapping cloth. But the only thing that was said, that was added to it was, that a part of that, you know, over cloth, you may call it, that should come in front of the face. Yudhneen alayhinna min jalabi vayinna. La illam yantahil munafiqoon. If the hypocrites, waladzina fi qulubihim maradun, and those in whose hearts are a disease, they don't desist. Walburjifuna fil madinate, and those who want to produce commotion in Madina, then we shall urge you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, against them. فَلَا يُجَابِرُونَكَ فِيهَا إِلَّا قَلِيلًا And then they will not be able to live in this city of Madina after you. You have with you, but very little. Up till now, there was no action was taken against Munafiqeen. The action against Munafiqeen was taken only after the Ghazwa of Tabuk. That was the time when, first of all, the door of repentance was closed to Munafiqun. The Prophet was commanded not to pray for them if they die. 
Some of the munafiqeen, the Prophet identified by names and said, go out of our mosque. Then the Prophet burnt their mosque, Masjid Ziraran. And in the same way, because there was no action taken, being taken against them, here it is a threat. If you don't desist from your activities, this, these type of activities, then maybe we command our Prophet to take an action against you. Maloneen, they are the accursed ones. Ainamas Wakifu, wherever they, will, they may be found. Okhazu, they should be taken, seized. Wakutteru Takhtila, and slain relentlessly into pieces. Sunnat Allah fi al-lazina khalaw bin qabl. And that has been Allah's practice with those who passed away before. وَلَنْ تَجَدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا And you won't find for the sunnah and law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any change. يَسْأَلُكَ النَّاسُ عَنِ السَّاعَةِ People are asking you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about the hour. When that as-sa'a, that the ama would come. قُلِ النَّمَاءِ الْمُحَا إِنْدَ اللَّهِ Say, the knowledge of that hour is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّ السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا And what shall make you realize that maybe that that hour has come very near. إِنَّ اللَّهَ الْعَانَ الْكَافِرِينَ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ سَعِيرًا Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cursed the disbelievers and prepared for them a flaming fire. خَالَدِينَ فِي أَعْبَدًا They will remain therein forever. لَا يَجِدُونَ وَلِيًّ وَلَا نَصِيرًا They will not find for them any protector nor any helper. يَوْمَ تُقَلَّبُ وُجُوهُمْ فِي النَّارِ when their faces will be turned from this side to that, from that to this, in the fire, يَقُولُونَ And they will say, يَا لَيْتَنَا أَتَعْنَ اللَّهَ وَأَتَعْنَ الرَّسُولَ Oh, would that we had obeyed Allah, and would that we had obeyed the Messenger of Allah. وَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّا أَتَعْنَا سَادَتَنَا وَكُبَرَانَا فَادَلُّونَ السَّبِيلَ And they say, they will say, Oh, our Lord, we only obeyed our leaders and our elders. And they led us astray from the right path. Rabbana atihim zayfani min al-azab. O our Lord, give them double chastisement. Walanhum na'anan kabira. And curse them with a great curse. Ya ayu al-lazina amanu la takunu ka al-lazina azaw Musa. O you who believe, be not like those who had annoyed or who had said bad things about Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. فَبَرَّهُ اللَّهُ مِمَّا قَالُوا But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cleared him off what they said. Now there are stories about this in the ahadith that because Musa alayhi salam was very shy, so people thought that he has some defect in his body, in his organs. And that is why he's so shy and he keeps, you know, always covered. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, in some way he disclosed to the people and they could see Musa alayhi salam that he was absolutely healthy and, and absolutely full. فَبَرَّا اللَّهُ مِمَّا قَالُ وَكَانَا إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَجِيهَا And he was in the sight of Allah, a very honored person. يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا صَدِيدًا Oh you who believe, have fear of Allah and say only that thing which is straight and true. Control your tongues. Have the taqwa of Allah in your hearts and control your tongues. If you do these two things, accomplish these two things, yuslih lakum amalakum. Allah promises that He will rectify all of your deeds. وَيَخْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ And if there are some, you know, mistakes, some sins, some wrong commitments, then He will forgive you. وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَادَ فَوْضًا عَظِيمًا and whosoever takes it binding on him to obey Allah and his messenger, then he indeed has a mighty triumph. He is successful. He has attained a very big success. Inna aradnu lamanat ala samawat wal ard wal jibal fabayna yahmilnaha. Surely we offered our trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to undertake it. Vashfangna minha, and they were afraid of it. Vahaban al insan. But man undertook it. In Nahukana Dalum and Jahula, verily he was unjust and foolish. This is one of the most difficult ayat of 
Allah of Quran, and there are many differences in its interpretation. What I understand, <coughs> may Allah set me right if I am wrong, what I understand is this is the amana of the Ruh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was blown in Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. This Ruh Jinnah don't have. This Ruh the animals on this earth don't have. The angels are simply Ruh. They are Arvah only. They have no bodies. So they have, have one-sided type of existence. The only creature which has both sides of, cre of creation is man. And it was man only who could have that trust of Allah, the, the Ruh of Allah, and hold it. And that is why man was created to be a vice student to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By Qadar Rabbu Kalil Malayaka Tainni Jailun Fil Ardi Khalifa. The vice student. So actually, man before the roof was blown into him, he was unjust foolish. He was just an animal. Before this blowing of the Spirit of Allah. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتَهُ وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَعْجَدِينَ Twice these words have appeared in Quran, in Surah Al-Hijr, in Surah Al-Saad. So when I have fashioned him fully and, you know, given all the finishing touches to him, and then when I blow into him from my own ruh, وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَعْجَدِينَ Then you shall fall down before him in prostration. فَسَجَدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّهُ مَجْمَعُونَ These words also appear twice in Quran. All the angels prostrated before him. So actually this was this ruh which could be taken by self, by a man only and none else. Before that he was an animal. He was not a human being. And as a, an animal, when Allah says, خُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ There are two extreme things about man in Quran. لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِينَ We have created, you know, man in the best fashion, best way. But on the other hand, خُلَقَ الْإِنسَانُ مِنْ عَجَلِ خُلَقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ كَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ خُلَقَ الْإِنسَانُ مِنْ عَجَلِ All these things are there. So why? How do you reconcile? The human being before getting the spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was weak. Was Ajula, was Halua, in the Lusana Kala, Halua, Halua, Ajula, and he was made out of Ajul. All these things were there. But when this Ruh was inspired or instilled into him, then he became highest of the highest, higher than the highest. Lakad Khalak the Lusana, he asked Sanita, we asked superlative degree. Then we sent him down to the lowest. Without, without Ruh, he is the lowest. <coughs> With Ruh, he is the highest. So this is what I think. So that is why I have translated, in the Hukana Zaluman Jahula, surely he was unjust and foolish. Not after receiving the spirit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these words are not applicable to him. The Yuazub Allahul Munafiqeen wal Munafiqat. The end would have been in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what would be the end of all this? Why he created this? Why this creation of life and death? The end would be, لِيُعَظِّمَ اللَّهُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ وَالْمُشْرِكَاتِ So that Allah should chastise those women who were hypocrite and men who were hypocrite and those men who were associated with Allah, false gods, والمشركات and those women who were associated with Allah, false gods, ويتوب الله على المؤمنين and that Allah should lean and relent towards the believing men and women. وكان الله غفور الرحيم and verily Allah is forgiving, merciful. Now we come to a pair of the surahs which both start with the words Alhamdulillah. Surah Sabah and Surah Fatif, a pair, beautiful pair. And I pointed out earlier also, this is something interesting, 
ود الحمد لله سورة الفاتحة beginning of the first part again with الحمد لله سورة الانعام in the eighth part after seven parts الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والارض وجعل الظلمات والنور then again a gap of seven parts of Quran and we find another الحمد لله in سورة كهف الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له إيوجا. then again a gap of exactly seven parts of Quran. again we have سورة الصبا and here there are two سورة الصبا and سورة الفاتر. الحمد لله. now these are facts and figures. what what is the connotation I can't say. but maybe if these statistics are kept in front, maybe Allah سبحانه وتعالى sometimes you know gives you some light that this is the the reason why, you know, this Alhamdulillah, these kalimat have been repeated in the Quran with this sequence. Wallahu alam. Alhamdulillah, illazhi lahu maafi samawati wa maafi lam. All praise be to Allah. All belongs to Allah. To whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Wallahu alhamd fil akhirah. And for him exclusively will be the praise in the hereafter. In this world, others are also praised. Kings are praised, and presidents are praised, and you know, addresses of welcome are given, and so forth and so on. But in Akhirah, the only one will be praised, and he will be Allah. Well, Alhamdulillah, exclusive. Wahul Hakimul Khabir, and he is the wise, the aware. Yalla ma yali ju fil nard. He knows whatever enters into the into the earth. Baba yakhru jo minha. And what comes out from it, from my yandulum in a sama, and whatsoever is coming down from the skies, from the heaven, from my yaro jafiha, and whatever is ascending into it, bahu ar rahimul ghafur, and he is the merciful, the forgiver. Wa taala ladhi na kafarul aati na saa. These believers are claiming that no hour is going to come over us. No hour, no qiyamah, no resurrection, no akhra, nothing of this sort. Ul bala wa rabbi latati annakum. Say, why not? I swear by my Lord that hour will definitely come over you. Alim il ghaib. I swear by my Lord who is the knower of all the unseen. La ya'zubu anhum istalu zarratin. Not even anything equal to the atom's weight. Is escapes his notice, neither in the heavens with samawat wala fil lard, nor in the earth. Wala asqaro min zalika, and there is nothing smaller than that. Wala akbaro, and nothing greater than that. Illa fi kitabim mubin, except that everything is written in the book, clear book. The yezi al nazi na amanu amir swala, so that Allah should reward those who come to believe and do good deeds. Wala ekalahum makfiratum warizkun karim. They will be the ones for whom there will be forgiveness and there will be generous provision. Well, as in a Saufi ayatina muajizin, as for those who are striving against our revelations to defeat them, ulai kalahum agabu wa risi min midrizin alim. For them there is a chastisement, painful scourge and torment. Wa yara aladina utul ilma aladi unzila ilayka min rabbi ka huwa alhaq. And those who were given knowledge. They see that whatever has been revealed to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is truth. Just like the people from Abyssinia, just like Najashi, just like Abdul Salam, Abdullah Ibn Salam, رضي الله تعالى عنه. وَيَرَى الَّذِينَ هُوَ الْعِلْمَ الَّذِي أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ الْحَوَالِ الْحَقِّ وَيَهْدِي إِلَى سَرَاتِ الْعَزِيزِ الرَّحِيمِ And this, what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, is guiding the people to the path of the Al-Aziz. The mighty Al Hamid, the praiseworthy, the praiseworthy. But Qala Allahi na kafaru, and these disbelievers say, "Hal na dul lo kum ala rajolin." Should we show you or point to you a person, a man who says, "You na beo kum," who tells you, "Is a muzik tum kulla mu mazatin?" When you will be disintegrated totally in the in the clay after your death, <coughs> your bodies will decay, become. Clay and meat with clay, and all your parts will be separated and scattered. The muzik tum kulla mu mazak. In nakum na fi khalkin jadid, he says. Then you will be in a new creation. You will be resurrected. 
you will be again given the life. After all, Allah is given. Has He forged a lie against Allah? That is intentionally, knowingly. Does He want to deceive us intentionally, knowingly? Am behi jinna? Or there is some madness with Him? Has He lost His balance? Or is there some evil spirit which has is possessed Him? But the truth is one day we will be given the last day of the day of the day. No. But the truth is that those who don't believe in the hereafter, they are already in chastisement and they are in a very far error. أَفَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَا مَا بَيْنَ هَيْدِهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ So don't they see what is in front of them and what is behind them from the earth? In Nasha Naksib Behim. What does it mean? The history. The history which is behind them. What happened to Qawm Aad, the, the people of Aad and the people of Samud, etc., etc. This is behind them. The history. Don't they recall it? And don't see whatever is in front of them. All this universe full of signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Nasha Naksib Behim al-Arda aw nuskhat alayhim kithabu min al-Sabai. If we want and wish, we can make the earth swallow them. Or cause a fragment of the heaven to fall down upon them. In the fizalik ala ayat al likrul abdi munib. Verily, in this is a sign for all those persons, for all those bondsmen of our servants who care for us. Wala kadatena Dawood amin na fazla, and we gave our bounties to Dawood alayhi salat wa salam. Ya jibalu abhi maahu. We had commanded the mountains, repeat our praises with him. Wattaira. And the birds, you also do it. Walamna lahul hadid. And we had softened the iron for him. Anayamal sahabi ghatin wa qadr fi sardh. O Dawood, make for people wide course of mail. And mayor well the links. Wa amalu saliha. And do righteous deeds. Inni bima ta'amaluna basir. Surely. What are you are doing? I am seeing. Wale Sulaiman abriha, and we subjected for Sulaiman the wind. Wudu wuha shahron. Its morning course was a month's journey. Barawa wuha shahron. In the same way, the evening course was equal to one month's journey. Wa asalna lahu ayn al qitr, and we made flow for him a fountain of molten brass. وَمِنَ الْجِنِّ And we subjected for him the jinns. مَنْ يَعْمَلُوا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Who used to work in front of him. بَيْزْنِ رَبِّهِ By the Lord, by the command of his Lord. وَمَنْ يَزِغْ مِنْهُمْ أَنْ أَمْرِنَا And whosoever would swerve from among them, from our commandment, نُزِقْهُ مِنْ عَذَابِ السَّعِيرِ Then we shall make him taste the Chastisement of the blazing fire. Ya Malun Allah, these jinnat, they were making for him Mahariba, very lofty and very beautiful buildings, structures, but Tamasila and images, but Jifan in Kal Jawab, and basins like troughs, but Kuduri Rasiyat, and anchored cooking pots. اے ملو آلہ داود شکرا او فیملی اف داود ورک یو ویڈ تینکس و قلیل من عبادی الشکور and verily very few amongst my people my servants are really grateful فَلَمَّا قَضَيْنَا عَلَيْهِ الْمَوْتِ when we decreed death on سلیمان علیہ السلام مَا دَلَّهُمْ عَلَى مَوْتِهِ nobody could inform them of his death, illa da batul ard, except a creature from the earth, taqulu min saatahu, which devoured his staff. He was standing, taking support from his staff, and he died. But he kept standing. His dead body kept standing in the same way, and the jinnats thought that he is alive, and he is seeing us, supervising us. But then you know. That termite, that bimak, daabbatul ard, that ate that staff. And then when it broke, he fell. His dead body fell down. 
فلما خر ون ہی فیل ڈاؤن تبین الجن دا جنس کیم ٹو نو ان لو کانو یا لمون الغیب ہیڈ دے نون دی ان سین ما لبے سو فی العذاب المہین دے وڈ نوٹ ہیو بی ہیئر ان دس ہیملیٹ ان چسٹائسمنٹ دے دے نیور کیم ٹو نو دیٹ سلیمان از آلریڈی ڈیڈ لقد کان لے سبائیو فی فی مساکنہم فی مسکنہم آیا ناو دس منشن آف دی پیپل آف سبا has come before also. It is being mentioned again here. The Queen of Saba, Sheba, and how, you know, the ultimatum letter was sent by Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam to her, and she came and surrendered herself. Now, this is the nation of Sheba, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to them also some messengers. And Allah has given them much of His blessings and bounties. But they proved to be disgraceful. They were not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so they were punished. This story is coming here. لَقَدْ كَانَ لِسَبَئِن فِي مَسْكَدْ اِهِمْ آيَدْ For the people of Saba, in their dwellings place, there was an ayah, there was a sign. جَنَّاتِن جَنَّتَانِ عَنْ يَمِينٍ وَأَشْبَال Two gardens, continuous gardens, a highway in between, and a garden is a long series of gardens on the right side, long series of gardens on the left side of the highway. جَنَّتَانِ عَنْ يَمِينٍ وَشِبَالٍ كُلُوا مِنْ رِسْكَ رَبَّكُمْ As we had said to them, now you eat of this food and provision that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your Lord has given you. وَشْكُرُوا لَهُ But be thankful to Him. بَلْدَةٌ تَيِّبَةٌ These dwelling places, this country of yours, is very good for Abun Ghafoor and the Lord is forgiving for our Abu. But then they turned away. For Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Arame. So we sent upon them the inundation and flood of the dam. All these gardens were destroyed. As if you know a big dam, if it is. It gives way what will happen, what havoc would it bring? Maaz Allah, if something happens to Mangala Dam or to Tarbela Dam, what would happen to Pakistan? It's very bad. This thing happened there. Sail al-Arami. وَبَدَّلْنَاهُمْ بِجَنَّتَيْهِمْ And now we change in place of their gardens. جَنَّتَيْنِ Now there were gardens, but they had what? زَوَاتَيْ وَقُلِنْ خَبَتِنْ Only some bitter fruit was there. Wa aslin. And tamarisk bushes were there. Wa shay min sirin qaleel. And a few low trees. That's all. Zalika jazainahum. Thus we recompensed them. Be ma kafaru. Due to their ungratefulness. Wa hal nujazi illa al kafur. And this type of reward or punishment we don't give except to those who are ungrateful. وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ الْقُرَى الَّتِي بَارَكْنَا فِيهَا قُرًا زَائِرَةً وَقَدْرَنَا فِيهَا السَّيْرِ Now this nation of Saba, it had the monopoly of the east-west trade before Quraysh. Quraysh actually inherited it after the Saba were destroyed. And what was that east-west trade? All the trading merchandise from east, China, India, East Indies, all these, you know, that used to come, and those ships were unladen in the Aden or in Yemen, on the coast of Yemen. On the other hand, all the merchandise from Europe that came, and shipping was on in the Mediterranean Sea, and they were unladen in Syria, Palestine. Now, between these two points, because there was no Suez Canal, so there was no route, sea route was not there between Europe and Asia. So now this was the only link. Caravans went to and forth, to the north, to the south. And they were exchanging this merchandise from south to north, north to south. And this was a much profitable business for them. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made this journey for them very easy. How? وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ And we had made, set between them, وَبَيْنَ الْقُرَ الَّتِي بَارَكْنَا فِيهَا and between those townships that we had blessed. This is the area of Palestine. 
سبحان الذي اسرا بعبد ہی لہل من المسجد الحرام الى المسجد الاقصى الذي باركنا حوله دی ایریا اراؤنڈ مسجد اقصى اللہ سیز وی بلیسڈ اٹ تو دے ور دس ایریا واز بلیسڈ ناؤ دی کیروانز ہیڈ ٹو موو فروم یمن ٹو دس ایریا اف پلسٹائن اینڈ ان بٹوین دیم باركنا فيها قرن ظاهرة وی ہیڈ میڈ سو مینی ٹاؤن شپس آن دی وے which were very near the highway, visible from the highway. وَقَدَّرْ نَا فِيهَ السَّيْرِ And then we had, we had set the stages of journey for them. A city, a township is coming after, for, for example, 30 miles. You can stay here for some time, take rest. If you want to take some food, some water, okay, available. Then continue. So at the ever, um, intervals, 30, 50 miles, there was a township. So the journey was very easy. There were no long journeys, you know, during which there could be fear of looting and plundering also. But you know, small segments of journey. And because the road was inhabited, there were townships, inhabitations on both the sides. So it was safe also. Fakalu, but they said, Rabbana ba'id bayna asfarina. Our Lord, prolong the stages between our journeys. There is no adventure in this journey. There should be some adventure. So there should be adventure. So this, this journey should be, you know, have some fears. Ba'id ba'nana wa zalamu anfusahum. And they wronged themselves. Fajallahum ahadis. So made them only the bywords. Now only stories are there for sabah. Wa mazzaknahum kulla muzbazak. And we scattered them and disintegrated them. Total scattering. Actually, what happened after this, this dam, you know, gave way, and there was that big flood and destruction, that these tribes then migrated from there to Arabia. Aus <coughs> and Khadraj are the both tribes which came from Yemen and settled in Yasrib. The Jews were already present. They were first to come to Yasrib. But then came these Aus and Khadraj from Yemen. Also, these tribes went even to Iraq and Sham, Syria. So there also they went and settled. This, they are the actual Arabs. al arabul Araba. They are the real Arabs. But you know, Quraysh, they were not arabul Araba. They were arabul Mustaraba. Because they were the progeny of Ismail. Ismail was son of Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wasalam. And he was from Iraq. He was not an Arab. He was the Iraqi, Chaldean. It was the Chaldean Empire where Hazrat Ibrahim was born. And the city of his birth was Ur. So these were people who adopted Arabia as their settlement place. But the actual Arabs were these people who had spread throughout this peninsula from Yemen. Verily in this are the signs for all of those people who take everything in this world patiently and who are grateful of what Allah's bounties are given to them. وَلَقَدْ صَدَّقَ عَلَيْهِمْ إِبْلِيسُ ذَنَّهُ And verily Iblis had proved what he said, what he thought about the progeny of Adam. But Tabu, he said that you will see that this, the progeny of this person, Adam, whom you have raised above, above me, they will not be thankful to you. So in case of Saba, the nation of Saba, Allah says at least for them, the saying of Iblis came to be true. لَقَدْ صَدَّقَ عَلَيْهِمْ إِبْلِيسُ ذَنَّهُ فَاتَّبَعُوهُ إِلَّا فَرِيقَ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ So they followed him except a few people from among the believers. وَمَا كَانَ لَهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ And he didn't have any authority over them. إِلَّا لِنَعْلَمَ مَنْ يُؤْمِنُ بِالْآخِرَةِ Except that we wanted to know and differentiate between those who have real faith in the hereafter. مِمَّنْ هُوَ مِنْ هَا فِي شَكْ From those who have some doubt about it. وَرَبُّكَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْنِ حَفِيز And definitely your Lord is a guardian over everything. قُلِدُ الَّذِينَ زَعَمْتُ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ Say, call those whom you think that they are associated with Allah. لَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَتٍ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ They don't have any control over not even an atom, the weight of an atom, neither in the heavens nor in the earth. وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْهَا فِيهِمَا مِنْ شِرْكِ 
nor they have any association or partnership with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world or the hereafter. وَمَا لَهُ مِنْهُمْ مِنْ ظَهِيرٍ And now that there is any helper from among them for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا تَنْفَوْ شَفَاتُ عِنْدَهُ And no intercession would be of avail. إِلَّا لِمَنْ أَزِنَ لَهُ Except from that whom he has permitted. حَتَّى إِذَا فُزْضِعَ عَنْ قُلُوبِهُمْ You know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave some command to the angels, they were overawed. إِذَا فُزْضِعَ عَنْ قُلُوبِهِمْ When the terror is removed from their hearts, قَالُوا مَاذَا قَالَ رَبُّكُمْ Then they ask each other, what your Lord has said? قَالُوا الْحَقِّ They reply, whatever he has said is true. وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْكَبِيرِ And he is the high and the great. قُلْ مَنْ يَرْضُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Ask them, who gives you sustenance from the heavens and the earth? قُلِ اللَّهِ And say yourself, Allah gives you. وَإِنَّا وَأَيَّاكُمْ لَعَلَىٰ هُدًا أَوْ فِي ذَلَالِ مُبِينَ And surely, either we or you are on a right guidance or in manifest error. Either you are right, so we are in wrong. Or if you are wrong, then we are right. لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلَيَا دِينَ Our ways have parted. قُلْ لَا تُسَلُونَ عَمَّا عِرَمْنَا وَلَا نُسَلُوا عَمَّا تَعْمَلُوا Say to them, You are not going to be asked about what we did, our guilts, our crimes. You will not be held responsible. Nor will we be asked, nor will we be responsible for what you are doing. Say, our Lord will gather us all. Then He will decide between us. He will judge between us with truth. وَهُوَ الْفَتَّاهُ الْعَلِيمُ And definitely, He is the decider, he is the best judge, and he is the knower. قُلْ أَرُونِ الَّذِينَ لَحْقُمْ بِهِ شُرَكَا Say to them, show me who are those whom you have associated with Allah as partners. Kalla, certainly not. بَلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ He is only Allah, alone, al-aziz, al-powerful, and al-hakim, al-wise. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَّةً لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَزِيرًا And O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, we have not sent you, but for the whole of humanity, whole of mankind, as the bearer of the glad tidings and as a warner. But Allah can أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people, they don't know. وَيَخُولُ لَمَتَا هَذَا الْوَعْدُ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ And they are saying, when will this promise come true? If you are true, قُلْ لَكُمْ مِعَادٌ يَوْمِ مِعَادٌ يَوْمِ Say them, for you there is an appointment of a day. لَا تَسْتَاخِرُونَ عَنْهُ سَعَةً وَلَا تَسْتَقْدِمُونَ That day which you cannot put back by an hour, nor can you advance it. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ بِهَادُ الْقُرْآنِ وَلَا بِالَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ And these disbelievers are saying, we are not going to believe in this Qur'an. Nor that which was before it. Now here, Torah also is being referred to as Quran. We have read before, Sehrane Tazahara. These are two sorceries who have joined hands with each other against us, they were saying. Our, uh, because we believe in shirk and Sehrane, these two sorceries, Torah and Quran, they are against us. Tazahara. Here again they are saying, We are not going to believe in, other, in this Qur'an, nor in that which was before it. وَلَوْ تَرَائِزِ الظَّالِمُونَ مَا قُفُونَ إِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ And only, O Muhammad, if you could see, when these evildoers will be made to stand before, his law, before their Lord, يَرْجِعُ بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَىٰ بَعْضِنِ الْقَالِ Now they will be blaming each other, throwing the blame on each other. يَقُولُ الَّذِينَ سُنْعِفُوا Now those who are oppressed, they will say, لِلَّذِينَ اسْتَقْبَرُوا To the arrogant people, لَوْ لَا أَنْتُمْ لَكُنَّا مُؤْمِنُونَ If you were not there, we would have come to believe. You actually led us astray. If you were not there, we would have believed in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we would have been saved on this day. قَالُ الَّذِينَ اسْتَقْبَرُوا They will also give the reply. Then those people who were arrogant, they would say, لِلَّذِينَ اسْتُقْبَرُوا To them. who were oppressed in the world. 
اب نہ نو سدد نہ کم انل ہدا بعد اس کیا کم دین وی سٹاپ یور پریونٹن یو فرام ایکسپٹنگ دی گائیڈنس وچ کیم ٹو یو بل کنت مجرمین یو ور یور سیلف گلٹی وقال الذين استضعفوا اگین دوز ہو ار اپریسڈ اینڈ ہو ہیڈ ٹو فالو دیئر ایلڈرز اینڈ لیڈرز دے وڈ سے للذین استکبروا فار دوز ہاٹی ونز اینڈ دی اروگنس ون بل مکر اللیل والنہار یو ار سٹرائیونگ ڈے اینڈ نائٹ to prevent us tamuruna na and you are commanding us an nakfura billah that we should refuse to accept this this dawa of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this believe allah najmadaj ala lahu andada and we should appoint with him equals wasabun nadama after this dialogue they will try to hide their more remorsefulness they will blame their themselves لَمَّا رَأَوْا الْعَذَابَ when they will see the chastisement come before their eyes وَجَعَلْنَا الْأَغْلَاقَ فِي الْأَعْنَاقِ فِي أَعْنَاقِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا and then we shall put the fetters in the necks of those who are disbelieved هَلْ يُجْزَوْنَ إِلَّا مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ they are not being rewarded but accept those things that they had did this is their own earnings وَبَارْسَلْنَا فِي قَرَيَةٍ مِّن نَزِيرٍ إِلَّا قَالَ مُتْرَفُوهَا and we never sent in any township any warner but the people who were affluent in that town they said inna bima ursiltum bihi kafirun listen with which you have been sent we deny it we disbelieve it wa qalu nahnu aksaru amwalan wa aulada and we have more wealth and we have more sons wa ma nahnu bi muazzabin and we are not going to be chastised if god had not loved us why should have given he should have given us this wealth in this world he has given me so many sons and i have so much land and i have such and such gardens etc etc what does it mean they believed in allah only they disbelieved the akhirah allah definitely he loves me because he has given me all these things and definitely i will get these things in the akhirah also if there is akhirah as you are saying وَقَالُوا نَحْنُ أَكْثَرُ أَمْوَالًا وَأَوْلَادًا وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمُعَذَّبِينَ We are not going to be chastised. قُلْ إِنَّ رَبِّي أَبْسُطُ بِسْتَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Say, my Lord, outspreads this worldly things for whomsoever He likes. وَيَقْدِرْ and restricts and straightens for whom He likes. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people, they don't have the knowledge. وَمَا أَمْوَالُكُمْ وَلَا أَوْلَادُكُمْ And please know that it is not your wealth or riches or your children that will bring you nearer to Allah. Illa man amana. If you want to come to nearer to Allah, the only way is illa man amana wa amil aswalihan. Accept those, accept that who come to believe and do good deeds. Ufaulaika lahum ajru jazaa'u zirf. For them there will be double, two-fold reward. Bima amilu. of what they did wa hum fi ghurafat aminun and they will be fully secure and in peace in the lofty houses wa ladina yasauna fi ayatina muajizin as for those who are striving against our ayat our revelations to defeat them ulaika fil azab muhtarun they will be thrown in the chastisement qul inna rabbi yabsutu rizqa liman yasha wa yaqdir say my lord spreads out spreads the sustenance for whom he wills wa yaqdiru lahu and he straightens or restricts for whom he wants wa ma anfaqtum min shay'in fa huwa yukhlifu and whatever you spend in his way or for his pleasure he will return it to you you spent for him for his pleasure to the poor to the needy or for his deen he will return it fa huwa yukhlifu wa huwa khairur raziqin and he is the best provider wa yawma yahshuruhum jami'a and the day recall the day when he will gather them together thumma yaqulu lil malaika then he will ask the angels a haula iyakum kanu ta'budun were these people worshiping you well that was the creed of the people of arabia that malaika angels are the daughters of allah and they are very beloved daughters and these you know lat manat uzza the feminine names 
these are actually the images which we have made in the name of those angels. So we, we worship them. So they will intercede on our behalf on the day of judgment. How will I sufa'auna in the Allah? They are, they will be intercessors for us. So here, وَيَوْمَ يَحْشُرُهُمْ جَمِيًا When Allah will gather them all, ثُمَّ يَقُولُ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ And then He will ask the angels, أَحَاوُ لَاءِ إِيَّاكُمْ كَانُوا يَعْبُدُونَ Were these people worshipping you? قَالُوا سُبْحَانَكُ They will say, Glory to you. أَنْتَ وَلِيُّنَا You are our Lord. You are our protected window name. We have nothing to do with them. بَلْ كَانُوا يَعْبُدُونَ الْجِنِّ Actually, they used to worship the jinns. أَكْسَرَهُمْ بِهِمْ مُؤْمِنُونَ Most of them believed in the jinns. Now these jinnat came to the kahins, etc., etc. This was a business going on. That was a separate story. So they, Malaika would say that they were not worshipping us. Actually, they were worshipping the jinns. فَلْيَوْمَ لَا يَمْلِكُ بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ نَفْعَةٍ وَلَا بُرَّةٍ Anyhow, today, none of you can have any authority or for any benefit for any, one another or zarr or any hurt. وَنَقُولُ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا And we shall say to them, those who are evildoers, ذُوقُوا عَذَابَ النَّارِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ بِهَا تُكَذِّبُونَ Now, go and taste the chastisement of fire which you had been belying. وَإِذَا تُطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُنَا And when our revelations are recited unto them, بَيَّنَاتٍ which are very clear, shining, shining revelations. قَالُوا مَا هَذَا إِلَّا رَجُلٌ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يُسَمْتِ يَسُدَّكُمْ أَمَّا كَانَ يَعْبُدُ آبَاؤُكُمْ They say, He is only a person who wants to stop you, prevent you from those whom your forefathers used to worship. So they actually invoked their respect for you know, their forefathers. And in their name, they wanted that they shouldn't accept the, the da'wah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. يُرِيدُوا أَيْ يَسُدَّكُمْ أَمَّا كَانَ يَعْبُدُ عَبَاوْكُمْ وَقَالُوا مَا هَذَا إِلَّا إِفْكُنْ مُفْتَرَى And they also said, it is nothing but a forged lie. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاهُمْ And said these unbelievers, for the truth which had come to them, in هَذَا إِلَّا سَيْرُ مُبِينَ This is nothing but a clear and manifest sorcery. وَمَا أَتَيْنَاهُمْ مِنْ كُتُمِنْ يَدْرُسُونَهَا And we have not given them any books that they are reading. The Moshrikeen, they had no, no book, no scriptures. Ahle Kitab, the people of the book, they had the scriptures. Torah, and Zabur, and you know the Gospels. But they had nothing. وَمَا أَتَيْنَاهُمْ مِنْ كُتُمِنْ يَدْرُسُونَهَا We have not given them any book. Books which they might be reading. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ قَبْلَكَ مِنْ نَزِيرِ and the second thing is that we did not send before you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to them any warner. وَكَذَّبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Those who were before them, they also belied. وَمَا بَلَغُوا مِنْ شَارَ مَا تَيْنَاهُمْ And these Quraysh, these people of Batka, they have not even attained one-tenth of what we had given them. The wealth and the glory which we gave to Aad, and in the same way, the wealth and glory and power which we gave to Samud, not even one-tenth of that has been given to these Quraysh. But they, when they belied our messengers, So how was the punishment that was given to them? Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I exhort you to one thing only. أن تقوموا لله مسنا وصفرادا that you stand for Allah either in prayers or singly ثم تتفكروا then you thought think then you meditate then you try to understand ما بصاحبكم من جنة there's no madness in your companion who is companion محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم what I'm saying to you I'm your companion I am from your tribe. I am also a Karshi. You are Karshis. But you think and you will come to know. Just ponder over it. This truth will reveal itself to you that on your to your companion there is no madness nor any evil spirit has possessed me. In Huwa Illa Nazirul Lakum. 
ہی از اونلی اے وارنر ٹو یو بین ادا عذاب شدید بفور اے ویری اسٹرانگ سیویر چسٹسمنٹ کمس ٹو یو فل ما سال تو گو مینا جل سیٹن آئی ایم ناٹ آس یو فار اینی اجر اینی ریوارڈ اینی ویج اینی لیبر If I have asked for any wages, then I give it to you. Therefore you, keep them. In ajriya illa on Allah, my reward, my wages, they are on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will pay me. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin shaheed. And he is a witness on everything. Qul inna rabbi yakzuhu bil haq. Say, my Lord strikes with, with truth. This ayah we have already read in Surah Al-Anbiya. بَلْ نَقْزِفُ بِالْحَقِّ عَلَى الْبَاطِلِ فَيَدْبَغُهُ فَإِذَا هُوَ زَاحِقُ Here it is only one part. In Rabbi يَقْزِفُ بِالْحَقِّ This time is not very far off when Allah will strike you with the truth. What will happen to you at Badr is not very far off. Allah will go you. He is, He knows everything which is in, which is hidden and is unseen. قُلْ جَعَ الْحَقُّ Say to them, The truth has come. وَمَا يُبْدِعُ الْبَاطِرُ وَمَا يُعِيدُ And as for falseness, it never originates nor repeats. قُلْ إِنْ ذَلَلْتُ فَإِنَّمَا أَذِلُّ عَلَى نَفْسِي Say to them, If I am committing some mistake, I am erring, then I am erring to my own loss. عَذِلُّ عَلَى نَفْسِ The bad result would come to me. فَإِنِ اِتَدَيْتُ And if I am on the right path, I am guided, rightly guided. فَبِمَا يُوحَيْ إِلَيَّ رَبِّي So it is due to that wahi, that revelation, that my Lord is sending me. This is humility on the part of the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I am doing something good, it is actually due to the wahi, due to the revelation of Allah which is coming to me. And if I am doing something wrong, well, I am wronging, doing wrong to myself. In, in the Rus Samiyun Kareem, verily, he is, listens everything, and he is very near. Walau tara is fuzeru, and only if you could see when they will be terrified, when they will be zaldaratu sa. The first ayah of Surah Al Hajj, Ya yuh nasu takur abbaqum inna zaldarat sa ta shayun azim. When they will see that, and they will be terrified. But then there will be fala fauta. There will be no escape. No place to run to. to no place to take refuge. Fala fauta. Iza fudiru. Wala utara is fudiru. Only if you could see, but they will be terrified. Fala fauta. But there will be no escape. Wa ukhidu bin makan al qareeb. And they will be seized from a very near place. The angels will bring them. وَقَالُوا آمَنَّا بِهِ At that time they will say, we come to believe. وَأَنَّا لَهُمُ التَّنَاوُشْ مِمْ مَكَانٍ بَعِيدٍ Now, how can they reach faith from a place far away? Time is gone. Time is over. Now if you say you believe, it's of no use, no avail. وَقَدْ كَفَرُوا بِهِ مِنْ قَبُلْ They had already rejected it before. وَيَقْزِفُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ مِنْ مَكَانٍ بَعِيدٍ And they were conjuring, conjecturing about the unseen from a place far away. They were saying, saying this and this and this without any knowledge, without any book, without any guidance. وَحِيلَ بَيْنَهُمْ And a barrier will be set between them. وَمَا يَشْتَهُونَ And the things which will be they like. All these things that they will like will be for the, for those who are going to paradise. Now they will be barred. A barrier will be set between them and that which they desire. Kama fo'ila bi ashiyahihim. As was done with their partisans of aforetime. People like them, they were also prevented from all those things, good things. The nuzul of Allah and the ziyafa of Allah, they are deprived. Innahum kanu fi shakki nureeb. Verily, they are in a very grave doubt. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذكر الحكيم الله أكبر
The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. One, a Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. Two, a Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, a Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. Four, a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about IONA, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.